In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can expand the use of our playbacks with one of our playback options in our settings to allow us to turn on and off execute items in our execute grid using our play and pause button. If we go into our settings, set up, view settings and playback, there's a setting here, playback go pause uses exec grid one. If I turn that on, it has to be on page one. I'm on page one. I've created a 10 by two execute page. And I've put a bunch of positions on top and a bunch of colors below. And you can see that those same items are now mapped to our play and our pause buttons. So I can simply turn on a position by using my play button and a color using my pause button. I can still use my playbacks for something like intensity. I can use a circle effect. I can change my position so I can get different looks out of my effects by changing the relative position that they're coming from. I can change my colors. And I can put other things on here such as zoom, the ability to play with the zoom on the fixtures, still be able to change my colors change my positions at any time. Now while this is on page one of our execute page, I can still use any other page of my execute also. So I can create an execute page two or an execute page three, and I can still have things on there such as an iris effect I created here. I can zoom this out. I have a dim chase. I have some regions here where I have some gobos. So I can say two seconds out to in and choose a gobo. And then I can change positions and colors. I can now reverse that in to out and go back to an open gobo. Change my position. And again, change my color. A great way to expand the use of your execute pages and your playbacks as well.